Kido team. Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hi. Good evening. Oh my God, I'm having a problem with my camera, I guess. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, teacher. How are you? Good. Okay. Hi, you... teacher. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. I'm fine. Hello, hello. Yeah, okay. But you cannot see me, right? Just uh, let me. I don't know what's going on with my camera. And separate it. Right. Here we have this one. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, and you? Oh, great, excellent. Just uh, okay. fighting with the technology. Peleando con la tecnología. But okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> good. How about you? How was your day? Nice? Mm. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Okay, that's good, Jenny. Okay, so just, I don't know why. My camera doesn't want to work. Yeah, if I... for security. Just one more minute. I guess that, okay. So today we're going to start with the... Um, with the platform. Oh my God. <laughs> Hello, hello. Hello, hello. We're here. I'm here, but we're black. <laughs> okay, so. All right. But my camera is on. So then I'm. Um, Okay, so we're gonna go to the dashboard. All right. 
So we have this one. Whose genes are these? Loading, 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 loading. Okay, here we go. All right. Then this is what uh, I told you yesterday that we were going to do today, which is the, in this class, you will become familiar with the weather seasons, right? So we have, for example, what are some of the weather seasons? Summer. Autumn or fall. Then you have winter and spring, right? So these are the four seasons. Now let's check. The seasons around the world. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather seasons. And you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation. It's very cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll be... Okay. First, let's check the vocabulary, right? Look at the first picture. Okay, it's spring in Brazil. Okay, and then it's warm and it's very sunny, right? What is the what is the weather what? in Brazil? How's the weather? It's a spring. It's a spring, correct. And what is the description of the spring in Brazil? Warm. Warm and what? It's warm. And what else? It's very sunny. It's very sunny, correct, right? It's sunny. warm and very sunny. What about the weather in Korea? It's great. Uh-huh, it is summer? It is summer. Yes. And what is the description of summer in Korea, the opposite? It is raining. It is raining. It's hot and humid. Hot and humid. Uh -huh. Hot humid. and humid, yes. Humid. Hot and humid, correct. Good. And what about the... Uh, the U.S. in the United States, what's the weather like? It is cold. It is cold. No, it is fall, right? It's fall. Okay. Mm. And what is the description of the weather in in Korea? It's right. It's, it's right. No, 
I mean, sorry, sorry, Korea, no, sorry, my mistake. In the US, in the United States, in it's what? Fall. Fall. Yeah. fall, uh huh. In cloud and wine. It is cloudy. It's cloudy and um, wind. Windy. 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 Okay, cloudy and windy. All right, good. Um, what about winter in Russia? It's snowing. It's snowing. Okay. It's very, very, cool. very cold. It's very, very cold. Very, very, very cold. Okay. Very cold. Do you like the very cold weather? Yes, I am. Yes, yeah. I do. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I do. Do you like the cold weather? Say, yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I like it. Okay, nice. Questions about that vocabulary. ¿Alguna pregunta de esas palabras que están ahí? And windy, ¿qué significa? Wind, windy. Windy? Yes. 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 Um, con mucho viento. Okay. 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 Teacher, what is the meaning snowing in Spanish? Snow, uh -huh, snowing is nevando. It's snowing. Está nevando. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. What else? It's very cold. It's my? It's very. It's very cold. It's very cold. It's very cold. Now, listen. You mean, teacher? Yes. You mean it's humid. Humid. Uh huh. Humid. humid. Yes. Okay. Humid. Thanks. That's correct. Humid. For example, in this moment, uh, aquí en Londres, donde yo estoy, si le digo Londres, yo le digo de cariño lo urdes. Okay? Aquí en lo urdes está humid. O sea que humid. es entre caliente y un poco así como a veces fresquito, pero se siente lo húmedo, right? And then, eh, similar to, to Miami, right? Miami is, or when you go to the, aquí, bueno, aquí las playas no son tan húmedas. Como hace bastante calor, el, el clima se siente seco. Right? Very hot. Hay alguien de Usulután por aquí, de esa zona, Oriente? Nadie. No. No? No. No, teacher, no. Okay. Bueno, ustedes van, por ejemplo, a esa zona de Oriente, San Miguel, que es, es fabuloso porque el calor es así en seco, seco. Ok, te toma agua y tranquilo ya. Empieza a sudar y se refresca. Pero en los lugares así húmedos es un poquito más difícil de de quitarse la incomodidad, right? Good. Right. Okay, ponga un, unless you have an air conditioning or a, or a fan, un ventilator, right? Good. Uh, what else? What else, what else? Okay, I'll read them. The, le voy a leer las expresiones y ustedes pongan atención a la pronunciación, right? It's a spring in Brazil. It's warm, it's very sunny. It's warm. It's very sunny. It is summer in Korea. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the United States. It's fall in the United States. It's cool, it's cloudy and windy. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing, it's very cold. Okay? 
become now, familiar listen, with the weather okay. seasons. And you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation, It's very cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. Okay. Okay. Those volunteers, two volunteers, raise a hand. Pongan la manito ahí. Okay, some more Jenny. Okay, one more. And Jenny, Jenny. ¿Qué más? Come on, my volunteer. Thank you, Milagro. <laughs> Yo no he dicho nada más. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Milagro, usted lea la parte de Pat y Jenny, usted lea la parte de Judy, okay? Okay. Okay. Yo leo la parte de Pat. Yes. Bien pedocráticamente. <laughs> Oh no. What's the matter? Yes. Yes, it's snowing. Um, it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are home. Well. You were need your coat. But my coat is warm and I'm not very warm. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julia. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Great. The listen very good. Yes, uh -huh, you see. Okay, two more, two more. Dos más. Okay. Two volunteers. Ya vieron, no está difícil. Okay, good, good. Come on, try. Sam? Samuel, want to try? You can do it, compañeros. Yes, yeah, yeah. good, excellent. You can do it. Yo no me, ani yo no me animo, teacher. <laughs> ah, no problem, no problem. No. Okay, Daisy, okay, Daisy. Uh, okay. Daisy, Alexandra. And there was another one. Uh-huh. Okay, good. Let me check. Están los datos. ¿Quién fue la, alguien más había? Daisy. En. ¿Qué es el otro? ¿Quién más levantó la mano aparte de Daisy? Yo no la veo. Reina. ¿Reina? Sí. Okay. Daisy en Reina. Ok, Reina. Daisy, you are cut. 
And Reina, you are too late. Oh, no. What do you model? It's a knowing. Um, it's very cool. Are you wearing your clothes? No, they're at home. Are you, are you wearing your coat? But my coat is warm and I'm not wearing but Okay, let's take a touch. Thanks, Julie. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks, Julie. Good. Nice. Okay, good. Eh, se oyen muchos ruidos porque ya está lloviendo y está lloviendo algo fuerte, ¿ok? Recuerden que vamos a, si nos va la luz o algo, no se muevan de donde están, ¿ok? Good. Ok, teacher. Fine. Nice. Eh, let's see then. Let's continue with this. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. Okay. Now, in the conversation, identify. Oh no. Identificaron alguna palabra nueva or something? Okay, wearing. Eh, which one? Ah, wearing, wearing. Uh -huh. Are you wearing? Are you wearing your gloves? Estás usando tus uh, guantes? Are you wearing your gloves? Recuerden que wearing es usar de vestir, ¿verdad? Usar, are you wearing your blouse? Are you wearing your dress? Are you wearing your socks? Okay. Okay. What is the meaning quad? What is the meaning of? No sé cómo se pronuncia. Donde dice wearing your coat o coat, no sé. Wearing your ah, your coat. Coat, abrigo. Are you oh, wearing okay. your coat? Uh -huh. Estás usando tu abrigo? Are you wearing your coat? Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> what else? ¿Qué más? Um, warm. 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 Warm es eh, cálido. Cálido así como de calientito, ¿verdad? Mm. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay, cálido. Eh, remember cuando usted dice mire, el, 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 la calidez de un hogar también puede ser en sentido así figurado, right? No es que esté haciendo calor en la casa, pero dice la calidez de un hogar, ese calorcito de hogar, right? Pero en el clima también se utiliza cuando se dice que está entre, entre fresco y caliente, right? Está como tibio, right. warm, ok? Warm. Teacher, okay. cuando decimos, cuando decimos este caliente, es uh -huh. lo mismo, es lo mismo que oh. warm. Eh, no, porque, ajá, sería hot. Ya digamos que está más, digamos que hay como niveles, ¿verdad? Tenemos eh, cold, o sea, cold, vamos acá. Si ustedes ven aquí la palabra cold, okay. aquí en Rusia, en Russia, cold, right? frío. Look, ve el termómetro. 
Está bien baja la temperatura, cold. O sea que hot es caliente. Ajá, vea aquí en humid, ahí dice en hot Corea. and humid, ahí en Corea, está la sí. temperatura bien arriba, caliente. ¿Ah? Y vea la temperatura en Brasil, que está entre cool, vea cool que está en, en, en los Estados Unidos, es cool, está como a la mitad, warm está más arriba de la mitad y hot está más arriba. Entonces warm es entre cool y hot. Entonces decimos, intermedio. Fresco, ajá, intermedio. Eh, cool es fresco, warm sería caliente, cálido, cálido. Eh, hot, caliente, caluroso, y cold, helado. Sí. Helado. Mm -hmm. Ok, teacher, thank you. Ok, perfect. Hot, remember, uh, pizza hot. <laughs> uh, this, is, this is hot. Uh, pizza, this is hot and hot. Ok, hot, pizza hot. Es más como una hot. hot. Este es entre, uh, y este es entre O y A, hot. Hot. Es una O abierta. Hot. It's hot today. It's hot. If it's a hat. It's a hat. Okay? Okay. Y, and, hot, and hot, ¿qué significa? Eh, la, de, la, la de la pizza. Ajá. Okay. Caliente, hijo. No, pero como dice él que las dos son significados diferentes, o sea... Como que se escucha diferente. Eh, ¿Cuáles? Eh, lo que es hot y, y hot, como dice usted, que lleva las dos. El, la diferencia. Ajá, es como una A. Okay, es como una A. La de hot, de pizza. Mm, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Ah, entonces, este, estoy tratando de... O sea, me ven, ¿verdad? Para, para que vean que no era una, una grabación. No, teacher. Para que vean que sí estaba aquí. No, teacher. No, teacher. No, teacher. no me ven. No, teacher. No, no, teacher. I don't see. Ah. Pero yo sí me veo. Pero nosotros no. Mire. Ahora se ve el logo. Yes. Yes. Yeah, logo. Okay. ¿Cómo ah, se okay. dice? No lo veo. ¿Y ahora? No. no. Es que aparece, van a aparecer dos. Un logo. Sí, aparecen dos niveles corporativos. Okay, ¿Cómo se dice? No lo veo en inglés. Ahora sí. Ahora sí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Sí, que aparece. No, no lo vemos. Sí. ¿Quién me ve? Ya se ve. No. ¿Qué es? Nelly, Nelly ya me ve. Yo no, no lo, lo veo. Yo lo veo. Ok, good. Va, entonces, este, este es el juego de hoy, esta es la actividad de hoy. <risa> find, find the teacher. Encuentra el profesor. Teacher, <risa> how do you say no te veo? I don't see you. Ah, oh, ok. I don't see you. I don't see you. Uh -huh. I, don't, I, don't, I don't see you. I don't see you. Okay. I, don't, I don't see you, teacher. You don't see me. Yo no I lo miro. You, yo no lo I miro, te, teacher. Yo no, yo no lo miro ni nunca lo voy a ver. <laughs> I don't, yo, teacher. Pero usted tiene una gran bendición que está más bendición que nosotros, pero no se preocupe. <risa> ok. Eh, ¿Saben, por ejemplo, cuando dicen I see you? Sí, te veo. Ajá, I see you. ¿Quién puede escribir I see you en tres letras? No. Escríbame en el chat I see you con tres letras. I see you con tres letras. Vamos a ver si me lo puso. Brandon. Ah, está, miren, Brandon. Ya en el chat. 
Ahí. Dice U, dice el primero, ¿va? Ivania también ya lo puso, ajá. Entonces, ahí es la pronunciación de la I. Sí, uh -huh. es la pronunciación de la C. Y U es la pronunciación de la U. Entonces, cuando dice... Ajá, I, como... Suena como... Ah, sí. Ah, dice U. Ok. Ajá, yes, Marta. I see you. In three letters. Ok. Good. That's the one. Excellent. A mí me lo, a mí me lo lee IQ. Ajá. Solo el primero, solo el primero me lo leyó bien, que, que es el que puso sobrando. Sí. Los otros me los leyó un poco más juntos. Ajá, es IQ, exacto. IQ es la, en español, sonaría IQ. Right? That's the Excellent. Okay, people, good. Then, uh, okay. we have... ¿Ah? O sea, que es la contracción, digamos. No, ese es un juego de palabras que existe en inglés porque se presta mucho a, en la pronunciación de sus vocales a formar palabras, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, si usted dice, ¿cómo dice uh, ojos? Eyes. Eyes, ¿en plural? My. En plural. ¿Ah? Eyes. Eyes, ¿verdad? Viene siendo más o menos como, como se utiliza en el chat, en WhatsApp, que, que ponen, en vez de poner, ¿por qué ponen XQ? Vale, más o Ajá. menos, digamos. Exacto, eso es. Así es, correcto. Okay. Son como abreviaciones con letras, como para escribir más rápido, informales, right Muy informales. Ok. Por ejemplo, miren, esa palabra que es. Me chat. Como sorbete. <laughs> no ice cream, sin el cream. Solo ice. Yellow. 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 Ajá, yellow. Fíjense cómo es. Ice. Se ve ojos es ice. Ice es yellow. Yellow es amarillo. Ok. <laughs> es el yellow. El, el, por ejemplo, el, para decir yellow. Amarillo en inglés es como decir yellow en español. Yellow. ¿Verdad? No. Yellow. Son sonidos similares. Cuando dice los ojos, ¿cómo dice ojos? Ice. Ice también suena como a hielo. Ice. Uh -huh. Y cuando dice ice, dice yellow en español. Es similar a la pronunciación del color amarillo. Yellow en inglés. Hay unas relaciones así, pero son como juegos de palabras, ¿ok? okay pero que sirven para, para que sirven para asociar, jugar y aprender. ¿Ok? Good. Ok, teacher. All right, thank you very much. Ok, now we have to go back to this. Okay, so this is what I was telling you, right? Where you have the pronunciation and sounds. Okay, if there are no more words, now we're going to move. this one. Esperanza, can you read this objective here in English, please? Me lo puede leer. Es lo que está en azul. By the end. By the end of this class, you will be able to form a statement using a present continuous. Present continuous. Okay, very good. Y lo voy a felicitar hoy, veo que están aventando un montón. Very nice. So, good, you see? Sin miedo al éxito, okay? You have to speak a lot and practice. Very nice, good. Okay, now we're going to see the present continuous. Oscar. What is the present continuous? 
What is present continuous? An idea. Eso le viene a la mente con el present continuous. Like presente continuo, right? Mm, algo que va a suceder o que vamos a hacer, no. Uh, no, pero sí que sucede, eso sí. Pero ¿en qué momento? Pasado, presente o futuro. En un futuro. Futuro. Present continuous, present continuous. Por en ejemplo, un presente, yo... teacher. Uh -huh. If I say, uh, for example, Mirna, what are you doing in this moment? Okay, look at me. Uh -huh. What are you doing? Uh, in the class. Uh -huh. But action, in the action? Um, I don't know. Let's okay. do that. Look at me, look at me. What is this? Um, what is this? Es What's this? The glass. Okay, it's That's a cup. Online. It's a cup. Okay, it's a cup. Look. <laughs> and the action? Mm. What, no. I, what am I doing? What am I doing? No teacher. What am I doing? Okay. For example, what action? What am I doing in this moment? Look at me. Listen. What am I doing? Action in this moment. Observando la clase. Uh, no, yes, but. Uh -huh. What did you say, uh, Milagro? Mm -hmm. What did you say? Teacher. O sea, aquí es algo como que vamos a hacer en el momento. Uh, pero no vamos. En el momento. ¿No qué? O sea, ¿qué se va a hacer entonces? No se va a hacer. Lo que es en el momento. Se está aquí? haciendo. Ah, ok. Ajá, uh -huh. ¿estamos? Exactly, right? So when I say, for example, what are you doing? Okay, what am I doing? I am? I am in the class. I am in the class, but the action? This is a lugar. And the action? And the listen and respond. Yes, exactly. Well, listening and responding. Listening and responding. Okay, escuchando y respondiendo. That's what you are doing, okay? So what are you doing? I am listening and responding, okay? And the teacher is speaking. Uh, the teacher is drinking coffee. The teacher is drinking, uh, drinking water, okay? Uh, for example, Jenny, what are you doing, Jenny? Jenny is... Uh, hello. Yes? Repeat, please. What are you doing? At the moment. Uh-huh. At the moment, I'm speaking English. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. Uh huh. In the moment. Okay, yeah. thank you. Speaking English. Excellent. Okay, good. Now, if you look at, for example, uh, uh, Milagro, if you look at Milagro, si ven a Milagro, ¿qué está haciendo? What is she doing? What is Milagro doing? I don't see you. Milagro? What is Milagro doing? Mira, donde tiene la manita. She's touching. Touching her face. Tocándose el rostro, right? Touching her face. Okay, that's what she's doing. Okay, good. 
So then the present progressive or the present continuous are actions that we do in the moment. Y son los verbos que terminan en ing. Okay? Say ing. Good. So we have uh, this video says in this class you will be able to form statements using the present continuous. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes. They're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not. Okay, uh, don't forget to turn off their, their microphones, please, for the interruptions. Wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that will be, they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right-hand side. And and but are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's giving additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. Now, I would like for you to give some... Okay. Uh, before we continue, do you see any? Me prendió. Eh, no. ¿Se entiende la explicación que ha dado eh, el uso del verb en ING? Teacher, ¿qué significa wearing? Wearing. No. Yeah. Wearing es vestir, usar. For example, yo le dijera, eh, let me see, I am wearing, I am wearing a, a brown and white 
t-shirt. Estoy usando una eh, camisa a plate. I'm wearing a plate t-shirt. Estoy usando una camisa a cuadros, right? Thank Play you. T-shirt. Uh -huh. Yes. Ok. But, pero vean la estructura, lo que... No, voy a tener que pagar. Es que vean. Primero se usa el sujeto, right? ¿Cuáles son los sujetos? I, you, we, you, we. they. Ok. He, she, it. Luego hay un verbo. ¿Qué verbo es? El verbo to be. Right? For example, you are. You are wearing. Ok. Si es negativo, they are not. Y luego, la tercera parte es wearing. El verbo con ing. Eh, por ejemplo, ¿cómo diría estás comiendo pan? You You are, you are comiendo eating you are eating bread bread estás comiendo mango how do you say that you are eating, eating. eating. mango mango Ah, estás comiendo manzana. You, you are eating apple. You apple. are eating apple, right? Estás comiendo pescado. You are, you eating, are eating fish. You are eating fish. Okay. Ah, estás comiendo dulce. You are eating candy. Yes, you are eating candy. Correct. Ok, um, estás comiendo tortilla. How do you queso. say tortilla, teacher? Tortilla con queso. Tortilla, tortilla is the same name. Lo mismo, ok. You are eating? Same. Uh -huh. You are eating tortilla with cheese. With cheese. Uh -huh. Tortilla con queso. Ok. Eh, you are eating tortilla with lemon. Limón. And salt. And salt. <laughs> una gran cosa eso. Tío, ah, comer, por... Una gran cosa comer tortilla con... Here is delicious. <laughs> con limón y sal. Mm. Calientita. Yes. yes. Es lo mejor, que le puede, lo mejor que le puede pasar a un salvadoreño. Okay. Delicious. Yes. It's delicious. Okay, but you see, you are eating. Estás comiendo, right? Pongamos otro verbo. Dígame un verbo. Talk. ¿Ah? ¿Cuál verbo? Dígame una acción, un verbo que se le tenga así a la mente. Brush. Brush. Ok, brush. You are brushing your teeth. Ok, you are brushing your teeth. Te está cepillando los dientes. You are brushing your hair. Estás cepillando el cabello, right? Eh, ¿Qué otra sería? You are brushing your shoes. Los zapatos también se cepillan, right? You are brushing your shoes. Aunque la palabra es ponche. Ok, otro verbo. Que tenga más acciones. Más Bien. actividades. Running. Eh, you are... You are studying. Okay, you are studying. Study. Uh -huh. You are studying in English. You are studying engineering. You are studying medicine. You are studying economy. Okay. So these are the different verbs. Okay, it's important that you remember. I am talking right now. I am explaining. You are listening to the class right now. Right okay. now. Yes. You, and right now means what? ¿Qué significa right now? Ahora. Ahorita, en este momento. Okay. Right now. Okay. Esto es importante. Siempre que utilicen 
Right. El ING van a ver, o no siempre, pero en la mayoría de las oraciones van a ver el right now. Por ejemplo, si escuchan la lluvia. Yes. Se oye. Yes. Right Entonces yes. se puede decir, it is raining right now. It is raining right now. Ajá. ¿Cómo está el está clima? Está lloviendo ahorita. ¿Ah? ¿Quién dijo ahorita? Está es lloviendo eso? ahorita. Exactamente, exacto. Así, se, así lo diríamos en español. Está lloviendo ahorita. ¿Cómo está el clima en su casa? Ah, it's raining right now. Ah, ahorita it's está lloviendo. Now. Okay, in this moment. Okay, you can say in this moment or right now. Okay. Teacher, pero yes. esas, esas palabras se pueden poner al inicio o al final. Eh, right now. Por lo general, right now al final. In this moment, puede ir al inicio. Okay, okay. In this moment, I am, uh, I am teaching my class. In this moment, I am working. I say, uh, I'm working right now. Eh, de una manera, para enfatizar, I say, right now, I'm working. Ahorita, estoy trabajando, no puedo. Okay? Se, se puede decir como para enfatizar a veces. Right now. Mm -hmm. Right now. Okay. Questions? Damos el final de la conversación. Some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you, your family, your friends and co-workers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums. You say, for example, I am learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Okay, so these are different expressions. Okay, eh, vamos a hacer un ejercicio así rapidito de lo que ustedes están haciendo. I am in this moment. Por ejemplo, yo les puedo decir, I am sitting. Okay, then let me. I am writing. In my book. Okay. I am writing in my book. Okay, good. Then you can say, I'm writing in my book. You can also say, um, this one, for example, if you use, I am taking notes. Esta es otra que pueden utilizar ahorita. Estoy tomando notas. I'm taking notes. Yes? Okay. I am. A, for example, uh, you can say, I'm um, asking. I'm asking questions. I'm asking in English. I am, I am asking questions in English. Okay. Hoy han venido como a mí me gusta. Bien preguntones. That's nice. English, okay? Then you can use this one, look. I am asking questions in English. Estoy preguntando, perdón, estoy haciendo preguntas en inglés. I am playing, I am paying attention in class, correct, Nelly? That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? Okay. Hay acciones que no se ven. Verbos, okay, por ejemplo, ¿cuál es lo que no se ve? I am I am I am I am thinking about you. Hace bien romántica. De escuchar, teacher. ¿Cómo se dice? Listening. 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 ¿Ah? Esa es otra que no se ve. I am listening 
Okay, I am listening to you. Teacher. Yes. Y pensar. Thinking. La que está arriba de las dos que acabo de poner. La primera dice, I'm thinking about you. Estoy pensando en ti. Estoy pensando en usted. Okay. Estoy pensando en... Estoy pensando en mi hija, right? I am thinking about my son. I am thinking about my daughter. Okay. I am painting. Okay. I am polishing. Okay. Ahí se ocupa la palabra polishing. I am polishing my nails. Estoy pintando mis uñas. Polishing. Y painting se puede usar para paredes o pinturas, cuadros, right? Good. Good, Joseph. Nice. Thank you. Okay. What else? ¿Qué más? Aunque no lo estén haciendo ahorita, piensen en oraciones. Por ejemplo, I am, ah, uh -huh, very good. I am chatting in my class, yeah, correct? Good. I am chatting in my class. Uh -huh. you, you teacher um, recording in class. Yes, that's correct. Then say you are recording the class. Ah, you are. Ay, me faltó una. No, okay. Me lo comí. Yes. You are eating the words. Ah. Huh? Está comiendo las palabras. You are eating the words. Yes. <laughs> okay, you are eating the words. Then you say, for example, you are recording the class. Okay, nice. What else? What else, what else? If you are practicing, I'm practicing the verbs. Chatting, polishing, painting, listening, thinking, asking, taking. Uh, what else? Ver acá que más pusieron. Taking notes, writing. Okay. So what else? Eh, looking. Looking. Okay. Looking at. Estoy viendo. Estoy mirando. I am looking at the computer. For example, I am looking at you. Okay. Aprendiendo. ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Learning. 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 They are learning, right? Learning. Learning. Okay, so learning. Okay. Learn. Le learning. Mm -hmm. Learning. I am walking. Yes, Marta. Very good. Bueno, el ejercicio hasta ahora. I am walking. Learning. Yes. What else? Learning. For example, I am learning English. I am walking in the street. Yes, Oscar, drinking coffee, delicious. I am, uh, yes, that's correct, very good. I am drinking coffee. Okay, nice. Okay. So here, aquí se pueden inventar cualquier oración usando cualquier verbo, right? I am listening to the class, yes, Lillian, okay. I am, um, uh, for example, this uh, you can say I am, uh, I am running, I am jogging, okay, trotando, jogging, running, corriendo, I am working, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, I am working in this moment, okay. You are studying in this moment. Okay, so these are the different expressions, right? Uh, he is sleeping. Yes, Marta, he is sleeping. Hoy, hoy nadie está durmiendo. <laughs> no, pero yo me estoy durmiendo. <laughs> he is sleeping. <laughs> okay, now it's not sleeping. That, but como diríamos nadie está durmiendo? In English. Nadie está durmiendo in English. Nobody. Yeah. 
Nobody is sleeping. Look. Nobody. Nobody is sleeping. Nadie Nobody is sleeping. is sleeping. Nobody. Nadie está hablando. Nadie está hablando español. How do you say that in English? Speaking Spanish. No, nobody, nobody is speaking, speaking Spanish. Aha, uh -huh, nobody is speaking Spanish. Okay, Spanish. Okay, good. Nadie está yendo a la fiesta. How would you say that? Nadie está yendo a la fiesta. Nobody is going to the, the party. To the party. Uh -huh, that's the one. Ain't nobody is going to the party. Going or go. Uh -huh. It's going. Nobody's going. Going. Es decir, todos están durmiendo. Everybody is sleeping. Okay. Everybody is sleeping. Everybody is speaking English. Everybody uh, silent. Everybody? Silent. Everybody is listening. Okay, everybody is in silence. Okay, so oh, everybody is silent. Silent and, and, is in listen teacher. <laughs> uh -huh, yes, and listening in silent. Everybody is in silent and listening to the teacher. Yes, correct. Good. Very nice. Uh, what else? One more. Somebody. Somebody's missing. Somebody is. Uh -huh. Somebody is keeping the dinner. Ay, ojalá que me la guarden. <laughs> okay. Somebody is keeping the dinner. Yes, Oscar. Good. Then uh, somebody is la afirmativa de nobody. Eh, vemos que dice, nobody, nadie, everybody, todos, is somebody, alguien. Okay? Somebody is listening. Somebody is speaking. Somebody is, um, somebody is, what else? Somebody is absent. Somebody is coming to the house. Alguien viene a la casa. Okay? So then, these are the... This is the uh, germ, the present continuous, right? Present continuous action that we are doing in the moment. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que necesita más acá? Verbos. Vocabulario, right? En verbos. Eh, le voy a enviar una pequeña lista para mañana ahí en el chat de verbos en ING para que los practiquemos mañana y hagamos oraciones, okay? pero así oralmente, ok, no escrito, vamos a hablar. Ok. Ok, no problem. No problem. Ok, thank you very much everybody. Eh, cada vez siento más por el tiempo. Miren, se dieron cuenta al inicio que hablamos más inglés que español. ¿Sí? Yes. Pues, eh, yes, teacher. Poco a poco avanzando, right? So this is the step, step by step. Ok, step by step. Then little paso, push, paso. Uh, we are going to uh, practice more, okay? Don't be shy, los felicito, congratulations, porque hoy sí, o sea, practicaron, hablaron, okay? Ya van quitándose el miedo a, a pronunciar y eso es bueno, okay? So far too good. Thank yes. you, teacher. No, thank you, okay? Have a very good night, people. <laughs> good night, teacher. Okay. See you next bye. day. Good night. Bye-bye. Yes. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.